Hey, welcome to another free online guitar tutorial by Pilar de Citampere. This is Mika and in this video I will introduce you to a really nice way to play scales and uh, later on also use it for improvising, but a really great way to get up to speed with scales and that's called the three note per string system in combination with directional picking for the different modes that you might have heard about. Um, basic knowledge that you need to know about is the, how scales are made up and, and what is the C major scale, for example. Uh, what's a major scale, what's a minor scale, and um, that is useful to know. Um, you can also study the different modes with this, and I really recommend to do that. It's a great way to learn to solo all of the fretboard, um, and it really makes your picking and your playing much more economic. Um, let's get into that. The, the way to approach it is, um, I will show you a C major scale now, played by, uh, with the three note per string, with application of the three note per string system and directional picking. So we start on the C note here. on every string and um, what's important to pay attention to is um, your left hand has basically three different uh, ways to pick but one of those ways is more like um, a variation of the of one of the other two ways and I'll show you what I mean so you have this pattern here, right that occurs down here for example it's with your index finger, the ring finger and the pinky finger. Um, you're just playing the frets 10, 12, 13 for example. Basically just one finger per fret. Then you have the pattern that is, um, for example, starting on this B note here. Um, it's, the, it's the frets 9, 10, 12 on the D and the G string. And again, you really just play um, one finger for one fret, uh, so the ninth fret is for the index finger, the tenth fret is for the middle finger, and the twelfth fret is for the pinky finger. And um, these are the two main shapes. And the next shape is a little variation of the second shape I introduced you to, so the 9, 10, 12 for example. Um, it's where we started in, uh, with the scale here um, and what I want to suggest to you is uh, first of all try to keep these two fingers, your middle finger and the thumb, um, opposite to each other um, and then, like on the 10th fret here, uh, you take the second shape, usually it would look like this but what you're doing now, to get stability when you have to make a little stretch for fretting the notes 8, 10 and 12, or the notes in the 8th, 10th and 12th fret, it's, um, you just move, you stretch this index finger over here. Don't go with the, with the ring finger. That just confuses you over in the long run and it gives you less stability. Um, you will, you will see more and more of why this is making sense like this, the more you study the modes. Um, so, you can apply this really to all kinds of uh, scales. Um, you can play the whole set of modes with this. Um, this was the Dorian mode in um, D Dorian, which is also containing the same notes as a C major scale. And I've included uh, that um, system, something about this system in the free download section, uh, there's a link below this video, you can just click there and it will show you how you can get access to that, don't miss out on that. Um, but um, this was just a basic introduction and something to pay attention to. Um, if you want to learn how to play all the modes, there will be another video about that, but this was uh, basically the introduction to that. Uh, you can 
make up a whole variety of funny scale sequences with this kind of pattern. And I really encourage you to look into directional picking because then this whole thing makes sense to, um, so to, if you want to get up to speed with it. Because if you just play with um, alternative picking, uh, you will probably not reach that amount of speed that in, in a very short time. Um, if you need more practice help and guidance with uh, um, your guitar playing in general, feel free to get in touch with me over www.pistekitaristi.dumpadet.pistep. There, there it's easy to get in touch with me, I'm looking forward to that, just click that button there, you won't miss it. And um, I'm really excited to hear from you and get to know you and your challenges and how we can help you. I'm uh, really looking forward to do that. So uh, don't be shy, get in touch now, don't hesitate, there's no use in waiting. And um, yeah, so that's it for today. See you in the other videos and stay tuned.